Hi everyone, today we're going to be reading the book Two Summers by John Heffron and Freya Blackwood. Let's get going. Two Summers. Two Summers. Rick is coming to stay again. It takes him seven hours on the train from the city. He's staying for a whole week. Last year, I showed him how to ride a motorbike. He bent the handlebars once and nearly broke his arm when he crashed it into a wombat hole. By the end, he could jump logs and scramble up muddy hills on his last day. He even beat me home. He wasn't so good on a horse though. I don't know how many times he fell off Sparky. Oh dear. I showed him the eagle's nest. She's a giant, that bird. I told Rick to be careful, but he wanted to touch those eggs more than anything. I knew she'd come back. Oh, <gasps> she doesn't look very happy. Last summer, we went swimming almost every day in the big dam where dad keeps his old boat. We tried fishing, but Rick wanted to see how far we could rock the boat before it tipped. Uh -oh. After that, we swam in the river. There's a deep bit near the house. That's what Rick will miss most this year, the river. But we can still have mud fights in the dam. Dad says Rick will be in for a bit of a shock. Ooh, looks a bit different, doesn't it? We'll still take him mustering. Rick loved mustering last year, especially when he had to make the cattle cross the river. He managed to stay on Sparky the whole time. We'll make a stockman out of you yet, mate. Dad said, I don't think we'll have much trouble at the river this year. The river looks to have gone down a bit, doesn't it? Dad says we'll have to get rid of some more cows now. Maybe some more sheep too. Rick can help feed the rest. We feed all the time now. There's not much green grass. There are lots of potties. Ewes just walk away from their lambs this year. Foxes and crows took some. Mum and I grabbed the rest. Everyone's a little bit hungry, I think. We feed them two or three times a day. We've got potty calves too. Their mums died, so now I'm their mum. Rick can be too, if he wants. We'll have to help dad with the heifers. Last year, we rode the heifers twice a day to check if they were in trouble. Dad had to pull three or four calves. Rick had never seen a calf get born that way. Last year, the heifers were too fat, dad said. That's why some of them had trouble. They aren't too fat this year. See, having a calf. There'll be branding to do as well and lamb marking for sure. So they're all identifiable. Dad says we'll keep Rick 
so busy he won't have to no time to notice how crook the place looks. He does look like he's been busy. He looks a bit tired. And who knows, he might even bring some rain. Did you enjoy that book? Let me know in the comments. And if there's any other books that you're after, let me know that too. Until next time. Thank you.